so welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys the weighted for cage tour of Boost, my Syrian hamster and I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird in today's video because I am currently fighting something and my sinuses are very congested but I have Moose with me right here in case you're new he is my long-haired male Syrian hamster and I've had him for around four months now I got him from an ethical breeder in Canada called Strong Bear Hamstery and he is super sweet. He doesn't want to be out right now because I gave him banana and he wants to go put it in his little um, burrow. So I'm going to put him back in and we'll get right onto the cage door. Okay, so this is just Mrs. Cage uh, with the lid on because he has this hanging chew toy that I love that I just wanted to show you guys. Um, and he also has a playpen that pops open and I love that playpen because I can actually sit with him in it and give him some outside cage time like at least once a week or more. Um, but yeah, I forgot to mention real quick, he has 10 inches of bedding on this side of the cage where he nests, and then he has, um, more like 4 inches all the way down here, maybe more like 5 inches, but it, like, tapers from 10 to, like, 6, and so forth, um, because he mainly burrows over here, and then he also has lots of tunnel starters and burrowing starters. He has this little PVC pipe in this corner, and then on the back far right corner, back there, is a little tissue box by Kleenex um, that he's actually nesting in currently and sleeping in right now. Do you want some baby food? This is his favorite. It's pumpkin and something else puree. It's baby food. Organic. Is that good? Oh, gentle boy. Don't want to give him too much because he doesn't need it, but he likes it as a treat. Okay, that's enough. So a quick little overview of Moose's cage before I get into the details and such. He's sleeping in that back corner of his chamber hide down in his little tissue box. Um, but yeah, this is what his cage looks like. So starting over here, this is his 11.5 inch Night Angel wheel. I love this wheel because it's quite wide and sturdy and it is actually silent at night, which is great because I need my shut eye. Um, and yeah, he loves it. He's so heavy that he has made it start to make noises, like the bearing, but they're very subtle, so it's just because he runs on the outside of it. Underneath the wheel, it came with a cork mat, and then I put it on a wooden platform, and I plastic out all of my wooden items for my hamster, and plastic out is just a finish or a paint that is clear or white, and it is water-based, so you can use it with animals and pets and it's non-toxic so that's what I recommend because if they pee on it or get water on it you can just wipe it right off and it's easy to clean it for in between hamsters and you can still bake it in the oven uh, from hamster to hamster. Over here is his water bottle. It's a glass stainless steel water bottle and he loves his water bottle. <laughs> I've said water bottle a lot. Um, and it's just hooked up to his uh, bin cage with some industrial velcro um, and I have another strip right here so I can move it and adjust it if I ever change where his wheel is and stuff. And underneath it is also another little wooden platform but it's a little round and that's just to catch any water and he also loves to sit on it and it's so cute. In between the two is a little rock he can scratch his nails against which is good to keep them nice and filed down and there's also little pieces of pillow moss throughout his enclosure for some enrichment and sometimes he like pulls it around and takes it to nest in his uh, chamber hide which is adorable. And he has KT clean and cozy bedding mixed with orchard grass hay um, for stability of his burrows. And then over here he has his cork tunnel. I love cork tunnels both for my hamster and my leopard gecko. Um, he loves to crawl through it and on top of it I give him some of his seed mix and forage on the top of it so he can get in the crevices for it which he loves. Then over here he has his little hay tunnel but I'll show you how it looks from the outside in a second. And then right next to it is a night angel uh, burrow starter that also acts as though a ladder up to his chamber hut, also by night angel. So this is just what the little hay tunnel looks like so I can actually see him when he goes in it. And then also his night angel chamber thingy ladder, I don't know what it's called, but Basically, he can go through this little circle and then go in here and climb up to get onto his chamber hide, or he can hop on top and climb and jump. Um, he does both, and it's kind of scary when he jumps. He's like very confident in himself, and also he's so big, it's not even a big jump. He just almost can like crawl right over. Um, but yeah, this is better like to use for starting your hamster to like dig and stuff, but I don't use it like that because 
I don't have space to do that with this big thing as well. And then in the middle of his enclosure, he has some more pillow moss right there. And then he has a PVC pipe. It's one, but it branches from two into one. And he can use this to make tunnels, but he's right now not using them. And then he has a little whimsy dog chew, um, the little alligator shaped one. I have a ton of these chews in my treat container and he loves these as you can see by his chew marks and they're also just adorable and good to file down their teeth if you have a picky chewer then over here he has his sand bath which i use repti sand with no calcium or added dyes um and it's just in a glass like baking tray which i like and then he has some millet spray some oat sprays and some more apple juice sticks uh, from oxbow and then on his chamber hide he has a adorable little food bowl that I just got for him and he can actually get into it even though it's kind of tall and big and I really like it it has radishes and carrots on it and he has some food in there because I just fed him yesterday and I feed him every other day and that's just uh, where I put most of his lab blocks and then a little bit of his seed bits and then here's a random little flower because I just scatter fed his forage for today it's a little dandelion. And as you can see, this hole that goes into his night angel chamber that he can usually use to get up on top is actually filled up with bedding because he's nesting in that area. And then I also have this little willow uh, ball chew with some willow paper in it. And I moved it on top of his uh, chamber hide because it used to be down here and then he got it stuck behind his wheel and it made a ton of noise at night. He loves to do that. He did that with this pine cone and actually scuffed his wheel permanently. And then over here is his veggie and fruit plate. For any veggies and fruit that I'm giving him and he loves it I got it from Goodwill it's so cute and then over here is his adorable little orange hide that he loves and I love I got it from I think the Dollar Tree along with a lemon one that's a little bit wider and they are for like soap I think but they make the perfect ceramic hide for your cereal hamster and obviously your dwarf hamster and then right here is his water bowl by Night Angel that I put on a little wooden platform as well because it leaks because I fill it all the way up to the top and then he loves to drink out of it and then get it everywhere. Um, and currently the wooden platform's actually splintering because a few days ago it was so hot that I got him like ice cubes in here, just like one, and then I also put a piece of granite under this um, and cooled it down in the freezer and it must have done something to the wood because now it's been cracking every single day so I'll have to replace that in a few days which is really funny to me. So that is Moose's cage. He seems really happy and it's changed a little bit since I got him, but it's always been kind of like this nice naturalistic theme and I'd love to do other themes in the future, but I think he's loving it because I'm loving it and yeah. Okay, so this is the end of the video. This is the outro. Oh my god, my voice is so bad. I am so sincerely sorry for how sick and cruddy I sound because I am sick and cruddy, but like I'm still very sorry. I hope you can at least tell what I'm saying in the cage tour. Anyways, I hope you guys love his cage as much as I do. And I'll be posting some spa cleaning and some cleaning videos and how to set up a hamster cage in the future. Um, but this is it for today. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Bye! Oh,